Welcome to our Walk Around the Block video. This is Lesson 1, Video 2 for our Let's Go curriculum. In today's video, we will be learning the different parts of a city block and intersection, both what they are and what they're called. We're learning about this because understanding the different parts of city blocks and intersections help us move around them in the best and safest way possible. We can interact with other users predictably and keep ourselves safe. You'll know you've mastered this topic when you're able to name and identify the parts of a city block that are important to people walking or rolling. This video's vocabulary includes rollers, walkers or pedestrians, sidewalk, curb, curb cut or ramp, driveway or alleyway, marked crosswalk, unmarked crosswalk, crossing signal, traffic light or traffic signal, bike light or bike signal. Let's start with the two most important vocabulary words for this video. Rollers. Rollers are people who are biking, skateboarding, scootering, or traveling via wheelchair. Walkers. Walkers are people walking on the sidewalk, trail, from their car or bike into a building, or really anywhere. We can also call walkers pedestrians. At some point, Everyone is a walker or pedestrian. Let's see what Rachel can find as she walks around her neighborhood. Let's start here. Do you know what this is called? That is a sidewalk. And sometimes they're in our neighborhoods and sometimes they are not. Sometimes they're in good shape and sometimes they're quite old and bumpy. What about this one? A curb, nice work. Curbs are useful for keeping cars and other road users separate from where walkers move. Sometimes sidewalks have them, sometimes they don't. Now, what about this special area? We call that a curb ramp or curb cut, where the curb has been changed to allow easier access on and off the sidewalk for walkers and rollers. It's really important that as we move around, whether walking or rolling, that we're aware of parked cars. Cars are parked differently all over cities and neighborhoods. Why would it be important for us as walkers or rollers to pay attention to them? We believe it's important because sometimes they can hide us from other people's views or can get in the way of our walking and rolling. We often see these in our neighborhoods, cities, and on our blocks. What are these called? Driveways and alleyways. These can be hard places for folks driving vehicles to see walkers or rollers. Extra care is needed when you're near them. You might have one of these right next to your school. Know what it's called? A crosswalk is the name, but many folks don't know, including many adults, that if we were calling it by its full name, we would call it a marked crosswalk because it's been painted with big lines, letting others know that walkers and rollers will cross the street there. This one is a bit more tricky. What do you think? This is also a crosswalk, but it's considered an unmarked crosswalk. An unmarked crosswalk spans an intersection between two corners, and it is not clearly marked by painted lines. It is an okay and safe place for you to cross, as long as you keep looking left, right, and left, and make eye contact with other road users. Now that we're at a larger intersection, do you recognize and know the name of this one? This is called a crosswalk signal or walk sign, and it's to indicate when walkers or rollers may cross the street. It's still important to look left, right, and left first though to be sure it's safe and that drivers are paying attention to you. What about the signal that controls traffic? You guessed it, it's called a traffic signal, which typically has red, yellow, and green lights for controlling traffic at road intersections and crosswalks. Rollers on the street, such as bicyclists, should follow these signals as if they were cars. Red means stop, yellow means slow down and prepare to stop, and green means go. This one is a bit more tricky. What do you think? I like how you put together what you already learned. This is a signal, similar to a traffic signal, but it's for bikes. It's called a bicycle signal, or bike signal. It works with the same colors, but it has a small bike logo so that road and sidewalk users understand who it's for. 
Thanks for watching the video today. I'm sure that you knew a lot of those things already, but I'm glad that we reviewed them together. Now it's your turn for an activity, Neighborhood Walk and Draw. Download the PDF or the attachment called Neighborhood Walk and Draw provided in the video description. Gather your team of parents, guardians, and other family members, and be sure you have permission to go out and walk around with them. Find an interesting intersection near your home. Draw and label the intersection, noting what parts of it are useful and good for walkers and rollers, and noting what parts could be better. Looking forward to chatting with you next time. Take care.